Okay, sorry about that interruption. That was my phone. I forgot to turn it down. Anyways, what I was saying is somebody told me that on a dating service, for some of the guys' pictures, when they ask them to send pictures, they would send pictures of them laying on their face in the bed with drool coming out of their mouth. They were laying there in a white, nasty, stained, holy t-shirt. You get my drift. Not attractive. If you're depressed, the best thing you can do, and this is scientifically proven, is act like you're not. Put on your makeup. Put on your nice shoes. Put on your nice clothes. Uh, wear your perfume. Whatever makes you feel pretty as a woman or handsome as a man, do it. Sorry, my phone again. Act kind of like fake it till you make it, I guess, is what they call it. So do that. Do that for yourself. Go out there looking your best and try to feel your best because eventually you'll start feeling better if you take care of yourself. Eat right. Eat lots of vegetables. I'm speaking to myself right now because I've kind of slacked off on the veggies and have been doing the treats a little too much. Um, thankfully, I caught myself before it was too late and I gained a whole bunch of weight. Um, I did not gain a whole bunch of weight. I'm saying thankfully I caught it before I did. Um, you need to take care of that shell that you live in. You only have one body. Once it's gone, it's gone. Once it's sick, it's sick. Once it is destroyed, it's destroyed. And I'm talking about on a permanent basis. Also, move. Exercise. Move around. If you can't move your legs, move your arms. If you can't move your arms and your legs, move your head. Do something to move. Our bodies were meant to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. If we're not doing that, we are going to break down. And once you break down completely, it's usually too late to repair the damage that was done from having atrophy set in. So move and you'll feel better too because breathing in oxygen and energizing your body, you feel more positive. I know I do. I did my Turbo Jam workout for 20 minutes today and I feel a lot better than I would have had I not done that. Okay. Um, tell yourself that today is a brand new day and that you are an awesome person and that you're going to make a difference in the world. Tell yourself, this was really cool. This was from um, that lady, Mrs. Hayes, again, um, who believes in and, and teaches about the law of attraction. Tell yourself that this is a day that's brand new. You've never lived this day before. I thought that was brilliant because it made me really treasure each day because it really is different and it's new and you don't know what's going to happen as you live it out. But you're allowed to live it. You were given that gift to live that day. So enjoy it and be thankful for it. And just embrace whatever comes your way. If something bad happens, you know, deal with it when it happens. But then realize that better things can come. Whatever it is that you do good for other people and good in your life will ultimately come back to you. What goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. However you want to see it. It's the truth, I believe. Another thing that Mrs. Hayes said was that people are mirrors. Realize that whether somebody's good or bad, kind or mean, they're mirroring something in you that is not a good trait that you need to work on or is a great trait that you need to you know, enhance and keep on doing. Actually, my foster mom said this to me as well, that um, when you see something you really can't stand in another person, look back at yourself because it's probably something in you that you don't like and need to work on correcting so anyway i said i was going to read this thing at the end of the video sorry for that little phone interruption i'm going to try to edit that out as much as i can um i want to read you what i put on facebook because i think it's important and again i was kind of preaching to myself and i call it run away let me get it open here. It's probably going to take a minute. There we go. If someone's words and actions are not lining up with each other, run away. If someone is not in your life for the good and bad, run away. If someone lies, run away. If someone steals, run away. If someone cheats, run away. If someone talks like a victim constantly, run away.
If someone blames you or anyone else for everything, run away. If someone lusts after you, run away. If someone has anger issues, run away. If someone has unnatural affections, run away. If someone hates Jesus or your beliefs, run away. If someone is cruel to children or pets, run away. If someone mocks, belittles, abuses you in any way, run away. If someone tells you God doesn't love you or wants to punish you, run away. If someone is an addict, run away. If someone is an abuser, run away. If someone is greedy, run away. If someone gives mixed messages, run away. If someone is always negative, run away. If someone is always manic, run away. If someone is manipulative, run away. If someone is controlling, run away. The point is, you are better than to put up with that junk from people. So, the reason I wrote that is because too many of us are sticking around in situations we really need to move on from. And another thing I added on to that is, and while you are running away, pray for them. Or if you don't pray, send out good vibes, good thoughts for them, for you, and then release them. And release yourself from the situation and let go. Easier said than done, but very helpful if you can master that. So hopefully this has been helpful. Just some of my thoughts, some of the things I've been going through that I thought I'd share with you. So God bless you in your journey. And uh, if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I am delusiondispeller at gmail.com if you'd like to write to me. I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, God bless. Have a great day. Thanks.